I'm currently using a new tripod and I'm sitting on my meditation cushion. Um, hi, happy Monday. I wish I had more energy and I wish I felt a little bit more alive, but it's the few days leading up to my period and I always feel super run down and exhausted and like I go to sleep all day. No, it's not the bed. Yes, I feel fine. I just am lacking motivation and energy today. <laughs> this is not an attractive position, but um, I took a week off of vlogging last week because I was just crazy with Vermont and then I was crazy with work and back in the swing of things. And so I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a break. And it was like a crazy start to August and here we are. It's the last full week of August, which is like so crazy. Like I can't believe September's right around the corner. Fall's right around the corner. Bills season is right around the corner. Go Bills. I can't wait. I'm so excited. If you're a Bills fan and you're watching this, let me know. Football fan in general, let me know. Drop it in the comments who you're cheering on, who's your team. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to pop in and say hi. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great. I'm just, yeah, today I'm off of my game. And I specifically made it a point today to not wake up at 5.30. I was like, sleep in a little bit before your work day. So I just like slept until like seven, that we had an hour before work to kind of like chill and like wake up and it just still didn't help. Like I've been so like blah today. So yeah, so I just wanted to say hi. Um, not really that eventful of a Monday, but I do have a few things going on this week. So I'll take you along for those. Um, not sure how much I'll really vlog for the rest of Monday. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon, so like, my days are done. I had a busy work day too. So like I said, I kind of slept in and had like an easy morning, but that almost didn't even really help me to feel better because I did that because I was like, go, go, go since like last Thursday, Wednesday, I forget. Like I was starting to do two walks a day with our one, well, with both dogs, but our one dog really needs to lose weight. And so I was doing that, and then I was also adding in an extra workout during my day. So I was doing two walks, and they're like a little over a mile and a half. And then I was working out, and then I just was going after work and doing a bunch of things. And and then this weekend, I felt like I was just like, go, 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 go. So I felt like I was just like kind of not totally spinning with like my head chopped off or whatever that saying is, but I definitely was experiencing was experiencing a little experiencing a little exhaustion um i have to clean my house and i'm gonna just be keep this real and raw because i said this that this that is what i was going to do especially with youtube and putting myself even more out there to create content um my house i have not actually like i've obviously like wiped things down and like somewhat tidied up but i haven't actually like clean clean my house like i'm talking while well, we run our room by every day so it gets vacuumed downstairs every day but i haven't dusted i haven't cleaned the bathrooms i haven't vacuumed upstairs um uh, i don't normally mop as often that's like once a month anyway but like i haven't done like the little things just to kind of keep things like fresh since the beginning of august don't judge me too much because i'm only human i had a lot going on um i think i spruced things up before we left for vermont but i didn't do like too much so I just like I really need to do that and so that's basically what my Monday evening is going to be plus cooking dinner I'm making a cilantro lime chicken salad so maybe I'll take you along for that um I also have you on a new tripod I don't have a new camera yet which you probably could tell but I have you on a new tripod um it's really cool actually um I don't know if I'll ever film with that app, but it's called Pivo. Uh, not sponsored, wish it could be. Hey Pivo, if you wanna sponsor me like this, would be super cool, but um, it basically is like somebody, it, like it follows your body, like, but you have to use the app with the, the little clip in actually. I can quickly show you and pop you out. So this is what it looks like. So my phone just sits here and then I can turn it on. The front button is right here. But yeah, so I can just, turn it on and then use the app that comes with it. It's all Bluetooth. Um, what is it called? Like it works Bluetooth. And so basically I have to use the app and then I can just hit record and then it just like follows you around. I like filmed something putting my, bought a bird bath yesterday and I put it up and um, I filmed it for my bird Instagram, um, birding Instagram, whatever you want to call it. I just love birds and so I needed a page for, to share that love. Um, and so I used it yesterday and actually it was like really cool. Like I was just like, oh, this is sweet. Like this is gonna make like editing like way easier. And then I don't have to bug Kurt all the time, which 
again, I don't know if anybody else, like, he likes to help. I wouldn't say loves to help. Um, he likes to help and he will help me, but like, I always feel like it's just like a hassle and like a chore, so like I don't ask him often. And so I was just like, oh, perfect, I'll just get this and use this. Don't know if I would take this whole setup like out in public, but for at home and like doing content creation at home, it, it works, it works well. So um, yeah, so for right now, if I don't see you on Monday, I'll see you tomorrow, but I'll see you later. <laughs> where this happens to me all the time. I'm literally picking up on the tripod. But I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog. I don't know if I have really anything going on. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna show you guys. I got new books. I'm gonna leave a link down below for you to check it out. Um, so it's this website called bookshop.org. And I really like them because um, it supports local bookstores and it does a lot better job with supporting authors in general versus like Amazon. So yes, sometimes their books are going to be a little bit more expensive than Amazon, but like the good that it does is much better than what Amazon does. Um, I try really hard. I've gone through like this phase where it's like, I don't want to support Amazon because it's just a large corporation and like the way that they move their money and where it gets, don't, where they donate stuff to, like I just don't, I don't like it. I don't doesn't like fit my um, like morals, my opinion, my like all that stuff. Like I just, yeah, as a short version without getting like too deep on it. But, um, and I was just like, but it's also really hard because Amazon is also very convenient. It is very, um, if that shakes, I'm sorry, Remy is currently sniffing the tripod stand. <laughs> um, but I, I like Amazon for its convenience and it just, it, it just really is. And there's some things I can get for, our dogs versus that I can't get elsewhere. So it's just like really hard to like navigate all that. But anywho, um, I came here to talk about books and to show you books, not to totally get on a tangent. I do that sometimes if you haven't noticed. Um, but I I got four out of the six books that I ordered. Cause there's, yeah, there's two more coming. Okay, so things we never got over. I cannot wait to read this. I've heard such good things about this book. I've heard that it, takes like a little bit to think to like pick up and then it gets really like um not crazy but like good um but it's almost 600 pages so this is a big book so normally I don't like reading thick books but hey I've heard really good things about it um I've heard I've heard really good things about all four of these right now that that's why I had to buy them but then I got the Spanish love deception this one is, not that you probably really care, but it's a little over 400 pages. Yeah, 440. Or no, that's with the acknowledgements. So a little less than that. So there's that one. And then I got Beautiful World, Where Are You? This one is not as long. Oh, that's really pretty. Got like pretty, or a picture in it. Um, almost 400 pages. And then I got The Heart of the deal. This one's a lot smaller. This is only, yeah, 342. So I'm really excited about these. And then I'm gonna pause to, actually, you know what? I'll just take you with, oh, last week, Remy accidentally broke my bracelets. They got hook caught on his one tag on his collar and um, ripped them off, but I'm gonna hopefully be able to get them fixed this Saturday. Um, fun fact, Kurt and I will be married for six years on Saturday. So exciting. Okay, does anybody else do this? Like they have stuff to go upstairs, like on their stairs. I do that all the time. But I got a new pair of white sneakers and I know, call me crazy. So we're planning a trip to Europe next September and I'll probably wear them before that, well, before then. But um, I want him to pair a white sneakers. So the Sam Adelman ones, I'm not a, Name brand girl, I'm not a materialistic girl. I just heard really good things about them. So when I say like, oh, the Sam Edelman ones, like if you don't know what they are, that's okay. Like this is just what I ordered. Um, but yeah, I got them from Nordstrom. So I got these. So I kind of got them basically for that trip thinking like, oh, that would be one less thing to pack. I know. I'm more than a year away from that trip and I'm planning accordingly. Europe is hard. Traveling to Europe is hard to, for me to pack. So, and I just like, I love having options, so to like pack limitedly, limitedly, it doesn't work for me. So, 
Um, but I'm also on my work day, and then I'm gonna tackle this house. We packed like a lot of stuff from our garden this weekend. Like I have more cow, more tomatoes. I accidentally ordered or bought too many plums from all these. I, um, it, I thought it, I thought when I ordered it that it was plums individually, but it was plums per bag. So instead of just four plums, I got four bags of plums. Like my dad's apparently supposed to be stopping by my house to give them to him. And then, oh, and I also want to give him carrots. I have his bagged up, but like, look at our little rainbow carrots. There's so many. I actually have to put those in the fridge, but yeah, I just like, I think that'll help with my energy and this weird motivation, like stagnant energy thing. It's like getting this all cleared up, getting my life back together. I call them power hours. So I'm going to do like a power hour and really like just get stuff done. Um, so I probably won't show any of it because I just want to like move, 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 move and listen to music. So I apologize for that, but I'll report back after. I'll probably go for a walk with the dogs because I kind of wanted like an active rest day. Whereas like I did something for movement, but like it wasn't like super strenuous, but it was like still like healthy to really, like get the energy out. So I'll probably do that later. Probably won't watch The Bachelorette. I've honestly been kind of sick and tired of that show. And so I'll probably watch that, rewatch it tomorrow so I can fast forward through everything because just the franchise in general is just really driving me nuts and irritating me. And I don't know if anybody else feels the same way or if it's just me, but it's just it's been really hard to like watch or want to watch. Um, it's just more annoying than it taking me out of like life um, sort of thing. So might have a glass of wine tonight, might not. Don't know what I'm gonna do, probably not. Then. I know I've shared with you guys that I'm trying to like be really conscious, but I'm also like the warmer temps are only gonna last for so much longer and then it's gonna be red wine season for me. And I'm like, I just really wanna enjoy all the whites and rosés. And it's really not good to keep those around for long periods of time. I mean, yeah, they're downstairs in a cool temperatured area, but I'm just like, I don't want them to go bad. So yeah, not that it's a reason to drink, but I'm just being honest to share my heart as things come to mind and I'm, spewing them out so um yeah so i will see you guys probably when i'm done cleaning because i'm gonna actually start that now and do a power hour get it done get my life together and then cook dinner take the dogs for a walk it's not raining which means i can't to grill chicken tonight um last night i was making a chicken dish and i had it wanted it grilled but it had to do it in the oven it's just not the same grilled chicken just tastes better to me Thanks for watching all my rants this though because I'm at like a 17 minute vlog. It is only Monday. <laughs> so, love that. <laughs> Good night, Nuffle. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Ram. Good night, Mr. Ram. I'm gonna go to bed, read my book, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Tuesday. Yeah, my retainer mouth, I'm sorry, I'm like, <laughs> keeping it real and raw. make some hummingbird food and kale chips because they used to be, we picked this over the weekend and I really just need to do it. This should be pretty easy to do. I should be able to do this within like 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, so sorry that you're listening to my dog's feed or eating. I just realized that I'm trying to chat in here like eating in the background. Let's take you in here then. Um, and then besides having like a busy work schedule today, um, oh, I do have to change the light bulb with my salt lamp over here. Because when we turn it on, sorry, I'm a little bit not feeling like trash. When I turn the lamp, when I try to turn it on, it doesn't turn on. Um, so, yeah, I'm just 
so I'm pretty sure I have to change a bulb in that. Um, I think I still have, have that somewhere. Um, but yeah, and then I, so at the end of my, towards the end of my day, I have an acupuncture and chiropractic appointment. I get chiropractic care once a month. It's just like a tune-up kind of thing, sort of situation with my chiropractor. And then she also does acupuncture. Um, that's actually how I found her was through acupuncture. We um, collaborated on like social media posts together. She like reached out to me, so it's really great. Um, and then, so I've had acupuncture done once by her before, but that was just like swapping services. So, like I filmed some stuff for her and then um, she, then even free free acupuncture, which was like really cool. Um, and so I'm having like my first like official like acupuncture appointment with her. So I'm like really excited about that. Um, so yeah, I put on workout clothes today. I feel like I look like I'm a little like the neutral color. Like do I look naked or what? But so haven't really decided. Um, slept until 7 again today, did not wake up till 5, at 5.30 like I wanted to, um, and so I'm just like, ugh, it's just, I know, I've talked about it a little bit yesterday, I know, like, leading up to my period, that is when I'm like, ugh, you can't bug me with nothing, I'm unmotivated, like, yesterday I was, like, a weirdly, like, depressed, and, like, just sad, and, like, I ended up, like, crying at dinner, I mean, we, we did talk about, like, a few things that are, like, just going on in life right now, and it's just, like, you know, like hard and whatnot. And so like, but like normally I would be able to keep my emotions in check, but like my hormones are just like, woo, like here comes your period, like yay. I just hate it so much. And so like, that's how I feel today too. I'm just like, I don't want to do anything. I can't be bothered with exercise right now and movement because ugh, no. Um, so I don't know. I try not to like push myself too much, but who knows, we'll see. Um, so yeah, so now that the docs are done, I need to make sure Someone, Brooke likes to eat her brother's food. Yay, Rem, you ate it all. But Rem has been in this weird, 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 weird mode where like he doesn't want to, he doesn't eat all of his food. And I don't know why, it's so weird to me. So, um, tonight we're having pizza. Brooke, 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 I said. Like you can lick his bowl after. I probably shouldn't let you do that, but you can lick it after. But um, we're making pizzas tonight. We originally were gonna grill them. You're so cute, Ram. We were originally gonna grill them, but now we're going to do it, do it in the cast iron um, and do like kind of like a deep dish situation. That's the other thing. I'm like, I haven't been going for like any walks or anything since last week. One, because I'm not motivated and two, it's just so muggy. Maybe it would have been different at like 6 or 6 30 in the morning, but yeah, right now, not so much. So, so yeah, so that's the plan for today. Just to do that, um, I'm gonna make myself some warm water and lemon, read 10 read a chapter out of my self improvement book, which I forget if I actually showed this. I'm reading The Restart Roadmap um, by Jason Tardick. Um, and then the next one I'm reading is The Untethered Soul. I'm actually reading it with like a group of girls in this community I'm in. Um, but I don't know. Why are her ears pinned back? Brooke doesn't like, I don't know, the weather is being weird today and it's like super gray and overcasted and Brooke does not like thunderstorms and so the way she came out of the woods with like her ears pinned back, I was like, oh no, did she hear her boom like a thunder boom? And so, nope, she's good. She's just going to the bathroom. <laughs> um, so I'm reading that. I'm still reading um, this time next year, last year. I'm still reading that. It's a little bit slow for me. I'm liking the story. And like I was like really intrigued at the beginning, but then I just kind of feel like it slowed down. So I feel like I'm hoping to get into like a pickup point in that book. Um, so I'm gonna try to take some reading breaks today. That's like one of my favorite things to do at work. If I'm not reading a lot of proposals and um, RFPs, I um, like to read as like my break kind of thing. Like, cause when I'm looking at stuff a lot, which I'm sure a lot of, a lot of people who have like desk jobs understand, like when you're like at a computer screen for long periods of time, 
like I need like a 15 minute break every couple hours kind of thing. So that is my goal for today is to be able to do that so I can get through that book because you guys know I just bought a bunch of books and I want to actually read them and I still have two from Book of the Month Club and I really would like to read them because I want to hit my reading goal on that app because they also have a reading goal. I have a reading goal on Goodreads which realistically I needed two more books to hit 30 so I would end up hitting it anyway on Goodreads but like I have I need four more books and I don't have four more books and they have two and so I'm hoping their September picks are much better. I did not like their August picks. I'm a fiction romance reader. Um, sometimes I like, depending on, I have purchased some, not, what are they not, it's not like th super thrillers, but like mystery, I guess you would maybe call it. Um, it's not like scary. Um, I can't do scary books. I can't do like murders, like, and stuff like that. Like you can't do any of that. I'll like have nightmares. Um, but I, I can do like some of that, but I prefer like Colleen Hoover, Emily Henry, um, there's somebody else that I really like, Jennifer Wien Wiener, Wiener, I think is what her name is. Um, but yeah, with my literal, literal stack of books by my night, on my nightstand, which you guys probably saw last night when I did like my short little clip. This is awkward carrying this tripod up. I got Remy in his bones. But my TBR, whoops, my list of like books besides like the ones on my Kindle is so big. This is huge. So, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, call me. So, well, for now, I'm gonna go make some lemon water and read my book before I start my work day. So, for now, I will see you guys later. I will actually probably show you guys me making my water and water so we're just gonna set you up here but not even in the screen i'm just talking um so yeah so i'll see you guys in a little bit
because um a last thing I didn't get to last night was cleaning the kitchen so I'll be able to actually do that today because we won't have dishes around and everything. Um, I have my panini press out though for my wraps for lunch because I made these delicious jalapeno, chicken jalapeno popper. Uh, like it's like a salad, like chicken salad salad, but with jalapenos, bacon, cream cheese, mayo, cheddar cheese. I know, not the healthiest. Um, and then I made it so I could put it in a wrap. And then it doesn't say to put it in a panini press, but I did yesterday and it was so good. It was so, so good. So that's why I got the panini press out, was just chilling. Right here is my lunch. I'm probably gonna have waffles for breakfast because I have this honey butter I bought from a local market downtown. They have two locations, but one of them is downtown um, called Bray Miller's and it's honey butter. So I'm like, I need to drop that out. And so put that on with some peaches, I'm thinking, because even though I just bought these, they're like ready to eat and I will almost be, it's a short peach season this year, it seems like. Like I was waiting and waiting and waiting for them to be like ripe and ready and Yeah. Raising the tobagos, we growing like fresh tomatoes. The boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new wafer. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. Another day on my schedule. Steady blocking the devil. I tell a hater, God bless you. Cherish moments that special. You gotta keep the momento. If you love me, then I love you, and I could never forget you. Some memories don't fade. Sometimes you miss the old days, but nothing changed. Less you change. What's around? I know it's a bit late in the season to be talking about hummingbird food, but um, I was just quickly making mine. And in case anybody didn't know, you don't have to buy like the red, like dyed stuff that you can get at like a bird store, or, like Walmart or Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. You can just make it at home. I um buy cheap white sugar. Wouldn't that be nice to be able to consume white sugar and not to worry about it? But I cut the bag because was, I was at the end of it. So, like a little leftover sugar, but I just got like the cheap stuff from Walmart. It's like probably less than a dollar. Um, I didn't get a big bag, and so basically, you do equal parts water and sugar. So, if you want to do depending on how big your feeders are, if you want to just do one, one to one ratio, two to two ratio, right now mine's a cup and a quarter, cup and a quarter ratio because I was using up the last of my sugar. So, then basically, I turn it on to like medium heat and I let it sit until it melts and dissolves and then I will take this once it's cooled and I will put it in my feeders. So just, that, just in case you want to know. So I'm learning how having short hair that um, I have to actually, like I don't know if this is like weird or if this would make sense at all, but I have to actually like wash my hair pretty much like at, at least every other day like I can't go multiple days like okay so I took a shower and washed my hair on Sunday and then today I just felt like a total grease ball like I have to like I and I was just like oh my god like I have to wash my hair like oh I didn't work out today I'm hopefully I'm gonna be able to go for a walk um later on when I get home after I eat dinner but I didn't end up going for a walk last night too I was just like in such a mood, in such a funk, which, by the way, having to peek uh, the detox fountain, um, and which I will link um, a code in below for 5% off your first order, um, and I'll leave a link so you can go shop if you want to try some of their stuff out. But um, anywho, I also really like this flavor because it's super light, like it's not overly like sugary and sweet it's like really yummy and it's like this berry it's a berry flavor anywho so i washed my hair on sunday because we were super busy with going out out and about and like with the dogs and everything like that and so i washed my hair and then today's only tuesday and i was like oh my god like, i swear my hair just gets more oily um, I also have a tendency, I'm still touching it a lot because it just, it, I, even though it's been a well over, a, it's been technically two weeks tomorrow since I chopped my hair, I'm still like getting used to it and like how it feels. And so 
It's just one of those things where you're just like, what is this? Like, oh my god, like this just be Whoop! I forgot about this. Sorry. The cup I, I had made by this girl that I um I'm friends with and I follow that she's in Buffalo. Um Palm Creations. Which means I got a dog cup with both my pops on it. Anywho, so I just like had to take a shower on my lunch break. I was like, I'm done. I can't like I can't do this. Like this is just and like I just felt like so greasy and so oily and I was like editing this vlog and I was like watching myself back and I was like Ah, Kim, you look so greasy. Like, go take a shower. <laughs> and so I went and took a shower, and I feel a lot better, um, which I wanted to anyway. I have this thing which maybe you guys will understand that, like, when somebody's going to be touching my body, whether it's massage, chiropractic care, acupuncture, I want to be, like, clean, clean. Like, fresh shower, clean. And so I ended up, like, working out fine because, like I said, like, I was able to, like, shower and whatnot, which I'm able to work in, like, two minutes because my lunch break will be done at that point. But yeah, so just learning all the things with like having short hair. And I guess I could realistically do dry shampoo, but like I swear my hair just gets so oily that it just doesn't even matter. So like I truly need to like shower every other day. And yeah, so just wanted to do shoes. Yeah. So I'm gonna go finish my work day. And I'll see you for my chiropractic and acupuncture appointment. <laughs> appointment um I know I told you guys in a like one of the past vlogs I fell on my stairs and um I had like really adjusted my pelvic pelvis in like a wrong way and so she was able to fix that um acupuncture was great um I'm home now I'm currently fixing everything up for pizza I have the bachelorette I'm on the background work is outside chilling and he's inside chilling so yeah so I just wanted to touch base, say hey. Um, I don't have any of the tripod around to chat while I do pizza, but it's like you chat a lot during this vlog, so probably the best to not chat. So, um, I'll see you guys later. be taking a Pilates class this morning and so that's why I, that's essentially why I'm up I'm up early but I needed to get up early anyway because I wanted to get back on my morning routine after having a few days off. I'm currently just trying to put my hair up a little bit because I can't well I could put it all up for Pilates but this, like, I'd have to like pin up the short stuff, so I'm gonna go with a half up, half down situation, and then I'm gonna shower tonight because I actually have, I guess it's called like a massage appointment of some type. Sorry about the poor angle. Should have brought my tripod up. Um, but 
I had some type of massage, I guess. And, oh, it's really dark up here. Um, hold please. Okay, better, much better. <laughs> it's a little bit lighter down here. Um, but I guess it's a type of like massage appointment. It's called oil therapy. This um, spa messaged me on Instagram. I hate that our windows do this. Like the condensation is just ridiculous. I don't think they're supposed to do that. I think that something is wrong with the windows, the way they were like installed in this house. But like the windows don't necessarily need to be replaced. They're just <laughs> like, <laughs> It's so weird. Like, they all do it. Even, like, the big ones up there. Like, it's ridiculous. Anywho. But it's called, like, it's like an oil therapy. And so I'm like, why don't I take, like, a full shower after Pilates? Because, like, after I told you guys yesterday, I'm like, okay, yeah, I love to have a clean body. But I'm just, like, I'll rinse off. But, like, my hair will just be left over. Pilates. Sweat. Um. Sorry about the roomba in the background. That's probably like super annoying. I think it's... Oh, it's like behind the toilet trying to figure out how to get behind it. Sorry. Um, it's just like so confused. Like, why is it so loud? Um, but yeah, so I'm doing that after work today. That's it. That's all I have going on since Pilates this morning. And then I have that oil therapy. Um, that's it. That's all I got going on today. So I just wanted to say, hey, hi, hello, how are you? Um, and I will see you guys later. I kind of came home from Pilates and I just like got like straight to it. So I apologize. So it was just like Pilates. Bye. <laughs> um, I ended up showering and taking a full shower because I was so sweaty and Pilates that I was like, I can't handle this. Like, I don't care. I'll take another shower. Like it is what it is. Um, I was so busy with work today. I had surprisingly like no time to clean up the kitchen. Um, but I did take time because I get a little OCD with this. If I'm being honest, I get a little OCD with, um, every once in a while, like I do it probably, it's a little early for me to be doing it right now. Cause normally I do it like spring and fall, but, um, I like to go through, I was just checking to make sure I have everything. Um, I like to go through my closet and get rid of stuff. And today I did like a big purge, I did like such a purge. And I have like this stuff to bring upstairs that I didn't even realize some of these pieces that I had that I'm like, oh my God, this would be so cute to wear, like love this. And then I also have a pile right here to give to my sister because I give a lot of my clothes to my sister because, um, just because like it's easy, like she take keeps what she wants and then I save mine to put in a garage sale. And then if it doesn't work in the garage sale, donate it. That's just the method I go. I know some people are like, don't like to deal with the hassle. Um, but, whoops, I'm, I guess, a little greedy. And I'm like, if I could get at least $5 for what I spent on this shirt, like, that would be great. So, um, but I do have to leave in about 15 minutes. I'm getting this. So I'll have to, like, come back and, like, let you know exactly what, the, what I'm doing. But... The spa DM'd me on Instagram that's in Buffalo. My mom wanted me to come in to um, check them out. And I probably should have not just done it right away. Like, I should have been like, was like the discount or pay service for content, like, thing. Like, if I'm being honest, like, I can't, not that I can't 
bored. I don't know. Sorry. I just, I'm just kind of rambling. But I'm just like, why did I like that? I'm not even really. I don't need this. This isn't like my regular facial massage that I get done. So funny. Anyway, not like surprise. I'm so fucking bitchy and pretty right now, but. <laughs> um, but I have that, and I'm told like, what? because I'm not sure what it's going to entail. I am excited. Not really the most excited to navigate downtown Buffalo, but I'm like parking. But yeah, so it should be pretty good. Or should be, it should be fun. Realistically, it should be fun. Um, but yeah, literally, a whole bunch of hangers. I don't really have to pull out too much stuff. I'm doing mean, the stuff to my sister to look through. And I'm so excited about it. It's great. It's so freaking good. Um, sorry. So yeah. So we'll see. But I'm not going to do that. I know I'm excited, but I'm just like, yeah, I feel like I need to do this. I don't know if I do this. Like, I really think this is the reason. So I will see you guys when I come back, when I'm done, all that, and report back how, how it goes. I just got home. I look a bit ridiculous, but um, so I it's called Shiro Dara. Um, I hope I'm saying it right, but it's an oil Ayurvedic oil therapy basically, and it's like all this oil that's like on your third eye and like runs down your hair, which is hence why my hair is a bit messy right now. I had my hair wrapped up in this like throwaway throwable or I don't know what it is. I know I can throw it away towel. Um, I almost forgot my jewelry. I had to turn around and like go back and get it, but um. It was a cool experience. It was really interesting. It's very meditative, very relaxing. Um, I kind of, if I'm being honest, I kind of wish there was a little bit more um, massage to it, like a little bit more of like a scalp massage or like a hand massage or like a foot massage or something like during it, like while it was going on. Um, my husband's probably going to walk around and I'm vlogging. He doesn't like being on the vlog or like when I video and he's like, oh, really? Um, but anywho, um, so yeah, so like, but it was really cool. Like it was a cool experience to do once and it's very grounding. Um, I'm sure there's like other benefits I could probably like look up to, but it's just cool because I've always been curious by Ayurveda and how, like, and its practices and like what is good for you and like doing them and whatnot. So was, that was really an interesting experience. Um, super cute little like spa, little area in downtown Buffalo. Um, took a video of it. So if you're in the Buffalo area and you're looking for a spa that does, I mean, they do facials, massages and stuff, but they also do like some Ayurvedic practices. It'd be really great to check out. So um, I'm going to go in and she actually told me to like rub the oil like elsewhere. So I'm going to go do that. <laughs> um, and if I don't see you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I would also like to point out, I walked in downtown Buffalo with this wrapped around my head for a few minutes. It was um, really embarrassing, but it is what it is. And it is, like, I just had to do it. Sorry, that was a really bad angle as well. I'm trying to get my stuff so I can get out of my car. But, um, yeah, it was like, I was like, yep, I guarantee I was made somebody's day by laugh. They laughed at me or they took a picture of me and said, look at this girl. She looks crazy. Like she's probably on crack. <laughs> Good morning, happy Thursday. I keep thinking today is Friday for some reason and I don't know why. Um, I took a shower this morning to get the oil out of my hair. Um, I feel like there might still be like a little bit of residue. It's not completely dry yet, um, but it's still, I'm just like, wow, it's like that oil was really like hydrating my hair. Um, I slept in, I put a towel down on my pillow last night because I was like, I may as well just like break the benefits of like this really healing oil like on my scalp and my hair especially with having the um, hair loss that I had from having the vid in March, I was like, gonna like try to heal this scalp. Um, so I slept in it, but I was like, I had a shower like immediately this morning with that, all that oil. <laughs> and I washed, I scrubbed my hair twice. Like I did two rounds of shampooing twice, like in the shower. And so that's why I'm like, I might have to shower again. I'll be showering tomorrow anyway, because we're going to, our friends are opening a brewery. And um, Kurt actually made the flight board, so I'm really excited to actually see them tomorrow. Um, we have one of them because they let us keep one of them. But I'm just like excited to like see it in a brewery, which is gonna be so cool. Um, 
so yes yeah, so we're gonna go they're having a friends and family night because they actually open next week which is like so exciting i'm so excited for them i helped them a little bit with their wine list so that was a lot of fun um but if you're in the buffalo area it's brazen brazen brewery and it's in lancaster it's on genesee road so she'll go check it out um it's so beautiful it's so beautiful i saw it a few weeks ago for the first time um because i had to stop by and i was just like oh my god it's so pretty um it was so cool so i can't wait i'm so excited for them um what else was i gonna say so today is thursday yeah super chill day don't have a lot going on i'm working I decided I'm not making kale chips. I'm gonna blanch that kale. It's been sitting at my counter. I've been so busy with work this week. There's so much going on with work, which is great, which is fine. Gotta pay the bills. <laughs> um, and so I think the next round of kale, I'll make kale chips, but I won't like pick it until I'm like actually gonna do it like on the day, which I might do this weekend because we already have some kind of ready. So I'm gonna blanch that today at some point and freeze. Um, and then I have my new moon event with the Astro Curious group that I'm in. If you're into like moon stuff and astrology, freaking love it. Um, and then Spade and Sparrows is having a, a virtual happy hour tonight. It's at nine o'clock. I might join, I might not. It's so late for me, um, but I have always so much fun. But like I'll be up to like 11, almost midnight because they just, they go for a bit. Like I think they're only supposed to go for like an hour, hour and a half and they end up like going like two hours, <laughs> which is fine. Like it's so sweet of Caitlin to take time to do that, like out of like her schedule as, is she celebrity technically? I don't know what to consider her. She was on The Bachelorette, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, so, and she has a wine club and she has like, and her wine's actually pretty good. Like I actually enjoy it. Um, and so I might do that cause like I'm in the membership. So I might go, I might not, I don't know. So I just have that going on tonight. So just like home stuff. Um, I have leftovers for dinner. Tomorrow is the Brazen family and friends night, our anniversary on Saturday. And then Sunday is a super chill day. Something on my sweater. It's really sad. So yeah, so that's my that's my boring Thursday. That's it. That's all I got going on. I'm gonna get trucking along with my work day though, so I will see you guys later. Bye. You know, we'll look into where is this falling for you. This is an area of life that takes dedication, um, repetitiveness. Thursday and yesterday I kept saying Friday. Today is Friday, so happy Friday, friends. Um, I currently am on my lunch break from a busy morning and I needed to shower and start getting ready because we have to leave pretty quickly after I'm done with work today. Kurt has off today. I'm gonna try and part my hair while I'm talking to you. Um, but um, to go to our friends, uh, family and friends night and at their brewery that they are opening that opens next week so exciting um and so i was just getting ready and trying to because i wouldn't have time like after work and whatnot so when i want to like look nice and stuff because i'm going to actually take some photos for my friend um because they don't have somebody there doing that so i told me i would do it so i had to stop that because kurt came in and he needed actually my help so um I'm gonna blow dry my hair. But yeah, so that's basically what's going on today. I'll obviously take you along with me for this and get a couple of videos and then tomorrow is should be fun. I'm trying to go to the farmer's market, take Brooke swimming because it's her birthday and then it's our six year wedding anniversary. So we have dinner reservations at one of our favorite places um, in the town that we live in. And so um, I'm really excited. It's gonna be a really good weekend. Um, my Sunday's pretty chill too. I have, I'm meeting a friend for like, kind of like a, I call it, it's like not really like lunch lunch, but like going to this bread toasted place. I don't know how to describe it. It's a restaurant, it's a thing in Buffalo. Um, so we can touch base, I have some things for her. And then, what was I gonna say? Um, and then I have the Yoga Spired in Life community call on Sunday. Um, yeah, and that's it. It's pretty, like, pretty chill. Pretty darn chill. Oh, it, like, poured this morning. It was, like, quite the thunderstorm. 
I was like, oh my God, but it was like really quick. And I just was like, oh, I just wish it would last all day. And I might be, I might change my outfit because I'm currently, I'm not gonna be able to flip the phone around, but I can kind of show you in the mirror. I'm in jeans and I don't know if that's gonna work. That was really an attractive angle, but that's okay. You guys get the point. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna, if I'm gonna actually continue to wear this because I actually really like this outfit and I was gonna actually try to wear a hat, but I think it actually might just be too hot, especially since it rains, so it's gonna be even muggier and well, hotter, hot, hotter, hotter, hotter. I can't freaking speak. So I'm gonna go blow dry my hair. Bye. <laughs> Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes A bit behind on editing and uploading a vlog um but i was finishing up the one from the last week of august last full week of august and um i just wanted to close out the vlog because it could just kind of end with like my sunday night dinner so i just wanted to say thanks for watching sorry about the annoying little tapping that's going on the door just is being weird but if you heard that so um yeah so i'll see you in the next week the, this previous week's vlog, um, I didn't get a lot of content. I had a really stressful week at work and just a lot of things going on. I was just not in a good headspace. So um, it'll be very short and sweet, but thanks so much for watching um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.